What's up guys, Son of Feast here. Today, we are back for another NHL Hockey on EA Sports of Season 2. We have finally made it to the new year in 2023, which is amazing. After the first game here from last year, 2022, now it's time for the number game to start for this year. Right now, this next matchup is about to occur another one in between the Western and Eastern Conference matchup. We have is the Florida Panthers, and they're facing against St. Louis Blues at Enterprise Center. Here are the groups of the lineups here from the captains, Alexander Barkov, Matthew Kachuk, and Aaron Ekblad. From the Florida Panthers zone, in between from the two part of the captains of Barkov and Kachuk. They've got some a lot of improvements out there, but let's see how hard it can definitely be it. And on the other side is Ryan O'Reilly. Vladimir Tarantenko and Jordan Karu. Let's take you down to the Enterprise Center where Jay Sabalski and Greg Ferraro stand by. Guys, it's all yours. Enjoy the next game. Two team penalty here for the fighting. Matthew can chuck here five minutes for fighting. Time remaining remaining here in the penalty. The 243 remain. Also a penalty here for the St. Louis Blues, Tyler Fox. So also a five minutes here for fighting. Time and a penalty, 245 remaining in the first period of the game. Oh. 
Still lots of time left, no score yet. O'Reilly's won the draw inside the neutral zone. Taken along the wall by Rosen. And play continues here. Back to the goal line. St. Louis slides it along the line. And he takes the feed. The Panthers mark the puck into the face of zone. Florida's in transition. White's gaining momentum. We got a stop as the puck sails over the glass. Tough players in bounding, looking for a chance to get a goal. The Panthers get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Pretty good chance here to break a scoreless game. The first power play of the game gets two minutes penalty here for the St. Louis Blues. Number 29, Count Alex Sexy to a Vetchkin. Time of the penalty. 6-4-43 remaining in the first period for the Panther power play. Gets it to the other point. Oh, they come back to the play. Rams control it at the front. St. Louis has it in the defensive end. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Takes the pass. Pass broken up. And the puck comes out of the offensive zone. So they'll be forced to regroup. Before you, you gotta have a short memory. What you have while is a power play right in front of you. 
Two minutes penalty here for the St. Louis Blues. Tori Krug with slashing. Time and a penalty. The 8.43 remaining in the first period for the Florida power play. First assist here by number 33 by Flynn and by number 63 by Nairos. Time of the goal. 11 42 remaining in the first period of the game. Side. 
along the wall. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Quick pass to Crew. Two minutes for tripping. One more minute to play in the first period of the game. One minute.
So that ends the first period, a 1-0 score for the Blues. Be back for the second period. Let's get into the second period. First goal in the first season, scored by number 20, Anthony London. It is scored to sixth year by number six, Gerda Gusla. And by number 23, Aaron Ackland. Time and a goal. 3.42 remaining in the second period of the game. This entire defender is as icing as the call. Officials ready to trap the puck and get things back underway. Oh, he gets in and wins the draw there. Now they can get out of the zone. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. That's a really good save. I think the goalie's probably surprised. He was dead center and open to shoot that puck. Tied up the game. Looking for a chance to hit the lead. Oh. 
First goal here in the season score by number 20, Brandon Sand. His first assist here by number 90, Brian O'Reilly. And by number 10, Karen Schmidt. Time of the goal, 4.43 remaining in the second period of the game. First assist here by number five, Kylie And by number er, 12, Kai Crow. Time to go. 6 42 remaining in the second period of the game. Taken by one 
Shane's got it in the defensive end. St. Louis plays the puck along the boards. And he takes the lead. Here's a save by Lebowski. Puck grab by Montour. The Panthers take it across the line. And that's broken up. Quick shot. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. 3-1 is where we're sitting. Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. St. Louis with a big defensive zone faceoff. Passes over to Torch Jaco. Across the line from center. Moves it quickly over to Falk. Takes the pass. Check on a bark phase to keep the play going. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Been a pretty good offensive display, at least for one side. 3 1 is where we sit. St. Louis takes position off the draw. Taken along the wall by Falk. Steps inside the line. Puts it up. He's on that one that came out. Dead center. Excellent save. Here's a short pass to Terrace. We pass the midway point. A 3 1 score is released. The Blues win the face off. Pass back to the point. And that goes off the sticks up on the traffic. And we'll get a reset after the puck goes up and out of play. They're still going to get this thing done. And that's a hard thing that they need to go for. The Panthers win it in the defensive zone. And he takes the pass. For Hayes hooping in on the attack. And now it's over to Kachuk. Pass to Thomas. Oh, what a chance and it goes sideways. The Blues look to start the transition game. Things down and out for the whistle. But you gotta kill. 
Florida goal is for a goal of the game. He is scored by number 33, Matthew Kachuk. Time of the goal, 17.53 remaining in the second period of the game. Number 19, let's try to keep forgetting with that one. 
One minute to play in the second period. One more minute. for slashing. That is a little mistake. Not good enough. Dan Lewis penalty number 25, Jordan Peru with the slashing. Time of the penalty, 14 seconds in the second period of the Florida Panthers power play. Three and two score. Third period coming up after the break. It's the third period. Let's finish it off. Welcome back to EA Sports, the final frame of this one. Florida's got possession to start the period as their power play continues. And they'll double in. Scooped up along the wall by Shen. Handles the pass. Florida's got a hold of it along the wall.
looks to get things going now with the puck. O'Reilly swinging the puck through center ice. St. Louis on the attack. Slips the pass in front. What a shot fucking can connect. Moments away from the face off. Let's get back to the action. O'Reilly's won the draw. Now look to set up.
Two Lewis penalty, two minutes for tripping. St. Louis Blues, number 20, Pond, Paul Rowland. Time of the penalty, only 9.43 remaining in the third period for the Florida power play.
Season score by number 63, Chick Neighbors. His first assist here by number 20, Alexander Tomachenko. Time of the goal, 17.43 remaining in the third period of the game.
keeps the line and hits it up. And now he tries to get it across to Tarasenko. Feeds it to Forsley. Florida's got it along the wall. Florida goal, the second goal of this season, scored by number 19, Matthew Kachuk. His first assist here, the Bears are by number 24, Brad Forsley. And by number 21, Brad Montour. Time of the goal, 19-20 remaining in the third period of the game. Scored by number 49, Bern Aben Barbashev. His first assist here by number 20, Brandon Sir. And by number 41, Darren and Lady. Time to go, 1951 remaining in the third period of the game. Too many penalties on here. Let's check out the three star players of the game. The third star was Alexia Tropankinko. Then Brandon Saad. A second star. A goal and a 2 6. Put back. And just like that, he just really came out like nowhere else before. But the first star goes to Sergei Bobrovsky. 82 saves. That really saves a lot. Turned out to be a just a killing off the moment. That they never done. Here as you look at your standings here, the final status, statistics, just 40 shots for Florida and 87 for St. Louis. 19 hits turn out to be just big they need to have and 3 for Florida. 1535 was just a time on attack that they had and only 346 for Florida. 95 percentage here for the passing and 83 percentage here for the Blues. Only 43 face-off wins for the Blues turned out to be just like a lot of moment out there to just prove it all they have. Penalty was only 15 minutes that turned them out and only 5 minutes here for the fighting that only happened. No power play goals for the Florida Pampers that have gotten there and only power play minutes was just 10. And that is all that happened. Well, the game statistics just turned out to be just too much to get this thing over with to try to pick them up here with the action tracker. Well, that has to say, it is very tough to make a decision out there. It's a lot of uh, tracking ability to get over with. So I hope you enjoyed the second game of the NHL of this season. Stay tuned for the next one. we got the Rangers playing at Toronto to face against the Maple Leafs at Scotty Bank Arena. This will be the next matchup in between the USA versus the Canadian team to give it all that they are going for. And with that one, the next commentary of this floor lineup will be OJ, and across from here is another one to take off. This all goes for with B Phone to give things up at a good range, and I will be on the center ice to give things up to which player had the best. So thanks for watching. Peace out everyone for us a while as the F the NHL 23 of 
on EA Sports Style. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social media. If you don't, somebody will. Thanks for watching. Good night. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.